Okay, we're going to look at some addition strategies. Realizing doubles near doubles is, is a very unique strategy because it does only works sometimes if the numbers are close to each other. So if you had the number, let's say 25, 27, well, doubles near doubles would be great because you know 25 plus 25 is 50. Two more units would be 52, which is great. But again, that's only going to happen in very few cases where if you think about breaking each number into its place value, adding up in chunks and compensation, those strategies can happen with all numbers. So let's first look at breaking each number into its place value. So, well, what's 100 plus 200? 300. What's 30 plus 80? 110. What's 5 plus 7? 12. So if we add them up, we're left with 422. Now, if we want to add up in chunks, add up in chunks so is you take the largest number and then you just start adding up in chunks. So what's 287 plus 5 would give us 292. 292 plus 30 would be 322. What's 322 plus 100? 422. So again, that's adding up in chunks. So all we did is we say, okay, we took the largest number, and then we said, okay, you don't have to add by the ones place. You could add by the tens, the hundreds, whatever you want is friendly for you. I decided to add it by the ones and the tens and the hundreds place. You don't have to do it the way that you could do it in a different order if you so desire. Compensation is making them friendly numbers. So if I added 13 to 287, that gives us 300. So if I add that, that's a friendly number to work with. So if I'm going to add 13 to 287, I have to subtract 13 from 135. You're compensating for what you did to one number, you're doing to the other number different, up the inverse. So that would give us 122. What's 300 plus 122? Again, 422. So again, we have breaking each number into its place value, we have adding up in chunks, we have compensation. You decide the one that works best for you. Every set of numbers is going to offer you a different opportunity to work with this. Mm -hmm.